Sheila and Deacon said they don't want to cause problems in Finn's marriage, but they keep praying. They keep praying. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review. Life with Chester for the Bold and Beautiful, May 21st, 2024. I understand why you can't attend the wedding, Finn, but I appreciate the fact that you're here giving us your support. And I appreciate the fact that you're willing to give me another chance and believe that I'm actually changed. But no, no. How changed can you be? If this woman don't came to you, first of all, of course, Steph ain't nobody boss, obviously, because Finn didn't have to go there. <laughs> Finn didn't have to go there. He could have passed the message the message along to um Hope or whatever. But the fact that Sheila is still over here, like, it would mean the world to me if he was here and you're not seeing things from his perspective and saying, like, okay, I'm not going to push. Because eventually he already told you his truth. He told you his truth. So instead of saying, okay, I respect the fact that you can't go. <laughs> that sound bad, though, doesn't it? Because <laughs> he's a grown man. I respect the fact that you can't go or whatever. You don't want to mess up your marriage. And I respect, I'm trying to respect your marriage. But the fact that you're here telling Deacon and telling me that, you support this marriage and he's he said that uh deacon was a good man and all this other extra stuff but yeah the fact that you can't say that and you still trying to get him to come yeah you proving her point that you haven't changed and y'all know what i've been saying i've been studying saying how look at everything you've done to steffi's family to him or whatever and he's still willing to, he was still willing to give you a chance he's still willing obviously that's why you're there that's why he was still having that whole conversation with hope or whatever but the fact that you let it come out your mouth that you still want him to come after he told you it would cause too many problems. What? You proving her point. But okay, hoping um Finn was still talking about the wedding and her stress and everything. She was like she still had the headaches. So he got his behind up there to go massage her or whatever. Um I think he asked her, would it be okay or something? She was like, if you're not busy or whatever. So basically, yeah, she wanted him to massage her or whatever. And I said, now, Steffi. I said, Steffi, you don't do no power. I said, what? Now, where are you, Steffi? She over at Force the Crash. She's talking about some, um, where's your daughter, Brooke, or whatever. I said, if you go over here to visit your husband, you'll see where she is. If you actually walk in, y'all know how sometimes they'll walk in on a conversation. Sometimes the door be closed. The door be closed, but they still hear what they said. <laughs> I said, you should have been there to hear him say he want to support them or he want to go. But Steffi and I, my wife, my wife, you know, what did he say when he walked in? When he was going to talk to, not walk in because they outside or whatever. But um, when he was talking to Deacon, he came to tell Deacon that he came to 10. He was like, my wife, you know, my wife, <laughs> he, my wife, everything out his mouth. I told y'all he'd be saying that. He was my wife and she would be calling him on it. She'd be like, okay, you came to 10 because you don't want to or whatever or because Steffi doesn't want you to. Regardless, you know what the truth is. You know what the truth is. You should have been said, okay, I respect the fact that you're here. The fact that you even here telling us congratulations and supporting us, it means a lot or whatever. But no, all you got to do is prove, continue to prove that you changed or whatever. And he going to come around himself. He going to come around himself. But no, you can't do that. And during, and during his conversation with, uh, with Hope, he kept saying how he has to put Steffi's wife's feelings first. Steffi's wife's feelings. Lord Jesus. Steffi's feelings first or whatever. His wife's feelings first and all that other stuff. And when he was massaging her, I was like, boundaries non-existent at this point. Now I understand you adopted and all this other stuff, but you ain't no massage. I know sometimes, like, physical therapists and stuff do that. But I was like, with you knowing your wife's history with this lady and the fact that they don't share the same man for decades, it's been decades, right? And all this other stuff, I just feel like certain things you shouldn't do. And I feel like that was a perfect example of how people don't be thinking. <laughs> perfect example, I was going to say how men don't be thinking, but, you know, sometimes women do the same foolish stuff. Well, yeah, I was like, boundaries, hello. And she over here, she hasn't, they hadn't shown her actually thinking about him in that way yet. We'll see how it goes, though. I wonder why, you know, is it going to be a bigger storyline with Hope having these headaches or what? And then, you know, she passed out. And she mentioned it to Ridge, Brooke, and Steffi when she got over there. But speaking of Steffi, so it was Steffi, Brooke, and Ridge, and they was talking. Oh, wait, I skipped the part. I skipped the part. When the episode opened, I said, uh-oh. I said, here go the anger, man. <laughs> That's when I start calling Ridge every time he on the episode. The angry man, cause he be yelling. And I skipped though another part. Um, Deacon and Sheila, they were just talking about the wedding. And she was saying how it would be so wonderful if Finn could be there for her and just be in the wedding and all this other stuff. She was trying to find out if Deacon had heard anything. But Hope ended up making it, and then they start questioning her, Steffi D, asking her what's going on. Do she really think that Sheila has changed? And she basically, yeah, she didn't say that, but. 
you know how people answer the question with a question or they don't fully they don't answer fast enough or whatever she basically indicated that she actually believes it but steph had wanted bruce to talk to hope or whatever and she was like no i'm sure she doesn't believe that i said first of all no amount of saving or trying to save somebody gonna erase the fact that you don't shot them what you mean like so i understand what they're talking about because what what well you know you saved me this time but the last time you the one who tried to take me out <laughs> oh my goodness but hope you know revealing to brooke ridge and steffi that deacon proposed to sheila i thought right then and there she was gonna say he wants hope to stand up for uh sheila and fans to stand up for him because deacon over here they what they not considering his marriage his feelings or anything he's just so focused on making sheila happy now so i wonder if this gonna lead to a bigger storyline i wonder if we ever gonna see them find out that he's the reason that she was out of jail because why introduce that whole thing and not well it's been a lot of storylines where they did that though what else happened um at the end of the episode finn ended up showing up to deacon's restaurant or whatever and i said i said you know what i like seeing deacon run this restaurant but at the same time i was looking forward to them exposing that he was the one who got she out of jail but he came over there and told me, I said, yeah, congratulations. I hear congratulations in order and all this other stuff. He over here, he just wanted to come there hoping that he saw Sheila. Come on now. <laughs> but yeah, he was like, congratulations, but he can't come. And Deacon told me, I said, I'm not trying to cause problems in your marriage. But you keep praying or whatever. Then Sheila came and said, I'm not basically the same thing. She's not trying to cause problems. But the fact that y'all keep doing this, I said, Sheila, you got every opportunity. It doesn't matter what they say. Obviously, it don't matter what you did. It doesn't matter about your past. All you got to do is continue to prove you changed. In that moment, you could have said, I understand. I I appreciate you being here saying congratulations and all this other stuff. But you didn't. You didn't. But that's it. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, deuces. Have a great rest of the day and be safe.